how easy it is. I'm going to start off with Oracle. And as you see here, what I've got, I've got a, I'm in the Oracle Enterprise Manager, and I'm looking at the schema called Scott, which has a number of tables within it. I'm going to show you how we can kind of load two tables, one being the customer's file, customer's table here. If I just go into Oracle, um, that, sh that shows you the layout of the file, and I click go, that will show you the data within Oracle itself. And I'm also going to upload another file, another table called sales. Okay, so that's the data I'm going to take from the Oracle database and upload using iRoot. Let's come out of Oracle. What we have here, we have a product called iRoot. Now, iRoot is the methodology where you define which data you want to take from where, when you want to run it, and upload it to the iSeries. So I'll just go into this product. What I'm going to show you first of all is the script we've created earlier to read the Oracle database. Now, if I'm going to read Oracle or SQL or anything else that needs a password setting, first of all, I need to configure the details of that machine, that database, sorry. So here we've got our Oracle database configured. So on this local machine, our Oracle database is called UTI400. And to log on to that database, we need a password, a username of system, and a password there. So I create my databases, and I can do test connection. And this just proves that we can talk to the Oracle database. So connection succeeded. Right, now I've created a script earlier, which I'll walk you through. These are the steps you go through to tell the product how to upload data from uh, any data source. In this case, it could be an Oracle customer extract. I modify that. And I'll modify all, so I'll take you through every single panel in the routine, although not all of the views. Okay, so when I start creating the script for the first time to do an upload, my first task is to tell the product which my data source is. And there's a drop-down list there, which I'll show you later in the demonstration. I've selected an Oracle database. Okay, so once I've told it the source of my data, then I tell it which database I'm going to uh, select from. So it's looking at the local Oracle database on my system and it's going to use UTI 400. Now if you're familiar with Oracle, you'll know within the database you have many different schemas uh, and I've just selected my schema called Scott. So again, it's connected to the Oracle database and that's so it can query the schema and build a list of all the tables. Okay. Next thing I do is select from that schema which table I want to upload. In this case, it's a table called Customers. Now, when I do this initially, all the fields will be down the left-hand side here. And to specify the ones I want to upload, I move them across the right-hand side either by highlighting them and clicking the single chevron, or if I click the double chevron, that will take all the fields across. So in this case, I'm going to upload all the fields from that table to my iSeries. If I click Next, the next thing um, I tell the prompt is what I want to do with the data. Okay, the concept of this um, webinar is to upload data to Irish series. We don't have to. You can use this to upload from Oracle to SQL Server or Access Database or Excel or whatever you do. But in this case, I'm going to upload it to the I series. The rest of the screen just says, what am I going to do when the data gets to the I series? Well, I want to create a new table. So I click that radio button there. And I'm now telling what I want my file to be called on the I series. It's going to be ORA Cust X, Oracle Customer Extract, and which library I want to put it in in iRoot Demo. I also specify which iSeries I want to upload it to, which I previously defined in the product, and which user I'm going to use to upload the data to the iSeries. Obviously, it needs to log on to the iSeries to, to write data to it. The next step here is right. It's just showing me all the fields that we've selected in the table, so the Oracle field names and the attributes of the Oracle database. What we need to do is just give it a list of what we want the field names to be on the iSeries. Okay. It will default the field types to alpha or numeric, depending upon the attributes of the field in the Oracle database. And we'll also bring in the length of the fields in the Oracle database, too. I could, if I want to, at this, at this point, also specify column headings, but I haven't done that. So after I've told it to do that, I want to save the script, and I'm going to call it Oracle Customer Extract Demo. I could just stop there if I wanted to do so. But in the real world, what you'd probably do to do updates from Oracle, you'd probably set a schedule for these things. So you could schedule this script to run every night at 7 o'clock or run every hour or whatever you want to do using that panel there. What I'm going to do is say, I'm not going to schedule it. I'm going to run it immediately. So I click Run. OK, I'm going to save the changes. And I click Run Script. 
that is actually running that script now. So it's connecting to the Oracle database, it's extracting the data, it's converting it into a raw format which we use to upload the data to the iSeries. Now once the data has arrived on the iSeries, the uh, product on that machine takes over and it will convert the data and write it to whichever format, whichever table I've told it to write into. So here, as you can see, automatically my upload occurred and it's written 198 rows to a file then called ORA Cus X in library iRoot demo. If I do a six against it, that will just query the file so you can see the data that has been uploaded. Now if you're smart eyed and eagle enough or you're watching the recording of this, you can compare the data to prove this is exactly the same as what came from the Oracle database. Everything has an audit trail that's uploaded, so you can quickly see who's uploaded what, where, and uh, what, uh, what the result was. And there's also a log for each upload that tells you exactly what's happened. You know, so I'm uploading up the file, spot, uh, etc., and where it's put it. Okay, if I just flick back to my server now that has Ivory running on it, I'm just going to walk you through one more Oracle script. Um, pretty much the same, but there's uh, an extra item I want to show you. So this case is going to be my sales extract demo. I run through these pretty quickly. Again, through all the screens. Modify selected, same Oracle database. This time I'm going to uplo uh, upload all the fields again, but I'm going to upload, create a new table, and it's going to be called ORA Sal X Oracle Sales Extract. Again, specify details of all the fields, and I want to run the script immediately. Okay, what I'm going to show you now, though, is a bit of post-processing. Because in this product, in, in this load routine, what I've done, I've specified when the data has been arrived on the iSeries and it's been put into the file I've told it to put it into, I then want to run a routine. Okay, there's quite a few different types of uh, routines you can run on the iSeries. You can score a program, you can run uh, a particular iRoot command, or you can run an iRoot definition. Now, an iRoot definition, and I'll show you this in a second, is the methodology of taking the data that we've just uploaded, because basically it's just a flat file at the moment, uh, and this concept is actually a work file, we're not going to use it for anything else except processing in this iRoot definition. And the iRoot definition can then take the data, optionally validate it, and write it to your live system, to your, your ERP system. So what this post-processing option is doing here is saying we're an iRoot definition, and it's called Oracle Upload. I'll show that in action in a second. So I just run that script. So again, it's extracting the data from the Oracle database and then uploaded it to the iSeries. So if I go into history here now, again, my other file is uploaded, ORA cells extract. But now if I display the log, you should see something different at the bottom. And what it says is uploading completely normal, that's fine, but now it says definition for script processed OK, Oracle upload. So that means it's detected the post-processing program, and after the data was uploaded to the work file, it ran the definition against it called Oracle upload, and that definition actually wrote 151 records into a file called IORA sales. Okay, That's simulating writing to your uh, ERP system. I said I'd show you the definition. And in the iRoot menu on the iSeries, if I go into option one, the definition is here, Oracle Upload. Bear in mind what I told you before. What it's going to do is take that data that I've just uploaded from my table, ORA Salex in library iRoot demo, and do something with it. In this case, I'm just going to write it to one file, IOR sales in iRoot demo. I there means it's going to be an insert, you could be update, uh, the condition would be delete. Quite often here, I would have multiple tables. But if I'm reading like a, uh, a sales order, incoming order, it would have like an order header, uh, order detail list, and also a trailer. So I could do all that in one step. What I need to do, obviously, is define what, how my fields on the target files are going to get populated. I do it with this option here. Here, where we've got all the fields in blue, all the fields on the target file, company, year, period, customer, delivery, etc. The ones in green are the ones I've populated them from my uploaded file. Uh, I can F4 to prompt just to uh, map them quite easily. I have gone a little bit further in this definition because another thing you can do, which is very useful, is you can link 
from your uploaded data to other files that exist on your iSeries. So in this case, I'm taking my sales data and I'm linking to my customer file to go and get some more information. Because from my customer file, I want to pull some uh, analysis fields like the sales within the area that applies to this sale. Okay. What I'm doing here is just telling it those are the key fields on the file I'm linking to. What I need to probably needs to know is which field from my uploaded data it uses to link to those records. So I'm going to link in on company, customer, and delivery sequence. And when I come out of my definition, I press enter. What it does is it generates me an ILE RPG program which will populate the data. So it uploads it to a, work, a flat file, calls that RPG program to uh, populate the ERP system. If you've specified validation in the definition here, what you do is create some validation rules externally to the product. The advantage of, sorry, external to the definition. The advantage of doing that is these can be reusable. So if you've got like a, a validation rule, so this item has got to exist on this file, or this customer has not got to exist on this file, then you can reuse those validation rules. And before the data is populated, or while the data is being populated into your ERP system, it can be validated. And you can validate this at a couple of levels. One, you can validate it by row. So what that means is if in my 128 rows I've uploaded, there's only one row that's got an error, it will only reject that one row, but it will still process the other 127 records. Okay. If I specify validation by table, that means it will validate the whole file before it does any updates. And if there's any errors at all, they will all be rejected. So it's quite a, um, a strong methodology for uploading data with complete validation control. Okay. iRoot can be used to upload data from uh, multiple sources, uh, as well as Oracle. A, a common one is SQL Server. I'll just quickly run you through one of these, because it takes not much to see this different, really. If I upstate the same data, SQL Customer Extract, modify that script, the only thing that you'll see different here is on the initial screen, we've selected Microsoft's Microsoft SQL Server database and pointed it to the SQL Server. From then on, everything is exactly the same. So I've selected the table from that database, selected the field I want to upload, told it where I want to upload it to on the iSeries. So as you can see, this product is very, very easy to use. Once you've got into how uh, you set these scripts up, it's so simple. But methodology is exactly the same. I'll show you that upload on the iSeries in a second when I go back. <laughs>